Alrighty guys, and welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today's weekly Star Wars recap for November 23rd, 2020. So yeah, um, got a few stories to talk about. Um, a uh, new update for, Scar for Star Wars Squadrons and some uh, February 2021 comics. But before I get into all that, I'm going to jump into the new releases. Starting off with um, stuff that came out last week. Uh, there was a Lego Star Wars Holiday Special, which I enjoyed it. Um, no, goofy, funny little uh, thing. Kind of wish it was a little longer. It was only like 45 minutes, which it was you know, over an hour, but still it was enjoyable. Um, I did a review on that. Um, then Bounty Hunters Issue 7 came out, and still, you know felt meh of it I'm, I'm starting with this series like not really giving it a chance anymore uh, cause I just have not been liking it so yeah um I did a review on issue 7 also and then Star Wars Adventures Annual 2020 came out did not read that um in the new VR game Star Wars Tales from the Galaxy's Edge came out I did not play that cause I don't have a VR headset whenever if I ever do get a uh, one, I'll definitely play it then, but in, I also haven't looked at anything, uh, gameplay or anything, reviews of Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, so I don't know really what people are thinking of it, so yeah, um, and then finally The Mandalorian Season 2 Chapter 12, The Siege came out, which I really liked the episode, um, I uh, don't want to really spoil anything, but I did do a uh, full uh, review on that um, with spoilers and whatnot. So, yeah, um, there's one thing I definitely, uh, from the episode, I'm going to make a video on. So, yeah, I also need to catch up on uh, you know, a few other videos I want to make uh, on, you know, uh, chapter 10 and uh, 11. Well, there's one video I wanted to do for chapter 10, but now it's, there's really no point, but, um, yeah, so maybe that will come out this week, I don't know, and then coming out this week, there's Dr. Aphra issue 6, which will come out November 25th, maybe Star Wars Adventures 2020 issue 2 will come out on 25th also, um, that's what's currently the date listed for. But I'm also just not sure uh, the dates for the IDW comics are always kind of, um, you know, they change all the time. So, yeah. Uh, maybe it'll come out. Maybe it won't come out. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. But um, then The Mandalorian Season 2 Chapter 13 will come out on November 27th, 2020, which uh, the episode will be written and directed by Dave Filoni, so... Probably means one thing, um, I'm very excited for it, so... Yeah, um, I'll do a review of that when it comes out on Friday. But let's jump into the news, uh, first with, you know, a new update for Star Wars Squadrons, uh, was announced by Motive, um... Well, I guess it's two updates, but um, the first one will come out in a few days on November 25th, um, which that update will have a new map uh, called Fostar Haven, which was uh, from the uh, story mode. It's the map in the uh, prologue, so yeah, but you know, they said it'll be changed up a little bit, but nothing drastic, mainly on like the look of the, uh, you know, station what's there but um interesting uh map um wonder how they'll go but uh yeah um also in that update they're adding some new components and um I believe there's like four new components I didn't really look read on that and I would assume uh obviously bug fixes and balance stuff and whatnot uh but then the big one will release sometime next month in December. It will add two new Starfighters, the B-Wing for the New Republic, and the TIE Defender for 
the Empire, um, which, you know, before the game came out, everyone was wondering where these ships were, and if they were going to come, but, you know, now, they are here, or, um, not yet, they are coming, um, so, yeah, um, but, uh, you know, because, you know, base game, there's, you know, four ships for each, uh, faction, and, each ship has uh, one, you know, class. Which these ships do have classes, but they're not new. The B Wing will be a, a bomber ship, and the TIE Defender will be a fighter ship. So now the New Republic will have two bombers, and the Empire will have two fighters. So, change up the balance there. Obviously, I would assume try not to be anything you know, drastically different. Um, See how different uh, the B wing works to the um, um, Y wing, and the, how different the Tie Defend Defender is to the Tie Fighter um, in game. So, yeah, uh, it's uh, definitely cool there. Hopefully, they have uh, more updates. Um, I don't know if they'll have more ships, but definitely more maps. Um, you know, just adding more maps from the store mode or just new ones. But, um, yeah. Uh, also, in the uh, December update, they will be adding custom matches. So, you know, that's cool. Definitely be able to do um, 10 player uh, private matches. So, yeah. Because. Um, Obviously, you could, you know, play with your friends and you can create a lobby of five, but now you'll be able to do ten, you know, even in the, in the, um, well, I don't know what to call it, um, on the web, you know, yay, I'm sorry, with the, uh, update, you know, listen, they, you know, mentioned about, like, you know, tournaments and whatnot, so, yeah, um, yeah, you know, sign these updates and jump into more squashes multiplayer. I really haven't played a lot of it. I did two videos and that's all I've really played. So of the multiplayer. Oh, well, in fact all the videos I've made is all I've played, so yeah. Um but it's been like a month and a half now and I'm just gonna get absolutely destroyed when I jump into like actual real, you know, matches, um, because all I've played is against bots, so, yeah, but, you know, instead of getting my ass handed to me in squadrons, I could instead play Minecraft, because there's a new Star Wars DLC thingy coming to Minecraft, which, um, it was a mashup pack, as it's called, I guess this will be coming to the console versions, um, I'm guessing... Maybe PC also, I, I don't know. Um, I haven't played Minecraft in years, so I don't know how all of it works right now. But um, but in it, it'll feature, you know, locations from the original trilogy and the Mandalorian. and feature skins of, you know, several characters from the original trilogy and the Mandalorian. Um, so yeah, I guess there'll also be the mobs will have Star Wars skins and... I guess there'll be usable ships also, so that's neat. Um, obviously, like I said, I haven't played Minecraft in years, so I don't know what's all going on in it now. But um, yeah, definitely cool there. But I'll probably never play this. Um, so yeah, which jumping to something I will be in fact reading, um, and that's some February twenty twenty one comics. Just gonna jump right into the uh, Marvel ones first. Um, there's Star Wars: High Republic issue two, which will come out February third, twenty twenty one. It's written by Kevin Scott and has art by Ario Inedito. I'm probably butchering their name. Um, so yeah, which the description for that says: Who destroyed when the Jedi's deadliest enemies, the Nile Strike, a ship found in, adrift in space, the crew bloonery blue. Uh, the crew brutally slaughtered and cargo stolen. What terror awaits the Jedi of Starlight Beacon 
as they explored a wreck. Newly knighted, Keeve Trentis must overcome her insecurity in the face of new teammates. But can she trust her closest ally? So yeah, um... Interesting there, I guess. They find a ship which the uh, Nile uh, attacked or something, so... Be interesting, and I guess the closest ally is probably a... Uh, skier, the, um, Trandoshian, or Trandoshian, uh, master, so, yeah, so, yeah, um, and then the, uh, next, uh, comic is Star Wars issue 11, which will come out February 3rd, 2021, also, and will be run by Charles Soule with art by Jan Bazadola, um, and the description for that reads, Operation Starlight Goes Supernova, the mission to reunite the Rebel Fleet is countered by a deadly trap. Spun by the cunning commander, Zara. How will Wedge and Telly's Shara Bay and the other elite pilots of Starlight Squadron survive? And then there's Lando Calrissian, forced to choose between a re- rebellion and one of his closest friends. So yeah, um, I believe this will finish up the next arc. So yeah, um, interested in it, uh. Hopefully Lando who doesn't have to you know do anything bad to Lobot. Um or something bad happened to Lobot. Hopefully not. But um yeah, um and then Darth Vader issue ten will come out on February tenth, twenty twenty one, and we're my Greg Pack of our by Raphael and Co. And strips for that reads the Red Horror. After passing the test of the Eye of the Webbish Bog, Darth Vader has learned the route to the hidden location of the Emperor's greatest secrets. But in the Red Nebula, along the way, can Vader survive the onslaught of the greatest predator in the galaxy? Especially if the monster's most brutal attack transcends the physical. And what horrors await the Emperor if a transformed Vader makes it to his dark door? So yeah, I guess, um... Vayner will maybe find Exegol. Um, I've, I'm going to say he doesn't. Um, so, or, you know, gets convinced by the Emperor. That's really nothing. So, yeah. Um, I assume this issue is probably the final one in the uh, current uh, story arc. So, yeah. But, um, anyways, that's it for the, uh, Marvel Comics. No new, uh, issue for Dr. Alpha or the Bounty Hunter, um, series in February. But, um, yeah. But there are some IDW comics. First, uh, the High Republic Adventures issue one, which will come out February 3rd, 2021. A lot of stuff coming out. There's three new comics in the new, uh, High Republic, um, to the dark young adult novel coming out that week. Three higher problem releases, goddamn. Um, but uh, anyways, the issues were by Daniel Jose Holder. You have art by Harvey Tolbeo. Uh, probably butchering their name, but uh, the description for that reads: Flaming destruction is coming to Trimant Four. A remnant of the hyperspace disaster appears in the sky, and Zine and her best friend Crix have only minutes to get to the elders of the path and find safety. Meanwhile, Master Yona, Master Baro, and a group of Padawans are racing towards the da- disaster for a daring rescue mission. So yeah, um, there's also a preview for uh, the issue. Um, only had three pages. Showed, uh, you know, it visualizes what you know the great disaster looks like at least in the Trimant system. So also, you know, introduces us to uh, Padawan character, um, the character's name, and then, uh, has a page with those characters mentioned in the, uh, description, and uh, Zine and Crix on Trimant 4, which I believe the character Zine alluded to that they, uh, might be force sensitive, so, yeah. But, um, then also, uh, Adventures Issue 6 will come out on February 17th, 2021, 
And we'll continue a story from issue 5 with Padme and Anakin. Um, so, yeah. But in the description, it also says, uh, then get a glimpse into the times of the High Republic with the story of the Nile. That's what it says. So, I assume a High Republic. Uh, story will be in this issue, but from the point of view of the Nile, which I said before, I'd like to uh, get a story from the point of view. It seems like we'll be getting it, although a bit different than I thought. Uh, so yeah, I don't know who's writing it. I I believe it mentioned who the writers were. I just didn't look. So yeah, but anyways, that's gonna be it for this week. Um, next week I'll be talking about something, I don't know, but, um, yeah, uh, you can check out my reviews on The Mandalorian Season 2 and comic, uh, reviews and everything else I do, but for now I've been Star Wars, you know, catch you guys in the next one. Show me the one whose safety deemed such destruction. must reunite it with its own kind. Where? This you must determine. The songs of eons past tell of 